As you guys know, the Grand RP birthday event came out a few days ago. As I'm recording this, it is March 4th. Looks like it's going to be ending on March 10th. And at this moment, I just wanted to go over what I've liked and what I don't like about this update and what I think of it as a whole. So I hope you guys go on to enjoy the video. If you haven't already joined the city and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description. Click on start playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, download the launcher, and you're good to go. Let's kick things off with the very first thing I noticed when I flew into the city today. Uh, in the top right hand corner, it now says one times grand coins. So it's just the normal amount of grand coins now, but for some reason they said it's one times instead of two times or three times. I don't really know why, but um, yeah, that's there now. Let's talk about the user interface. I honestly don't mind it. I love how clean everything looks. I like the speedometer in the bottom right. I like everything in the top right hand corner. Not a huge fan of where the radios are, where the time is, where the date is. It kind of blends too much into the minimap there and looks a bit cluttered in that corner. I think it'd be a better position just above the minimap, something like that. But where the bank is and where your chips would be at the casino and where your cash is and what street you're on and everything like that looks beautiful. A lot of other RP servers have it like that, so I really like that. When you first load into the city, I do like how there's like a little intro now. I hate how loud the music is though. It is extremely loud. And of course the new menus when you pay for a house or spawn in a car somewhere, that also looks really nice and clean. So when it comes to the UI, I'd say it's pretty decent. It could definitely be fixed up here and there. And even in the bottom right hand corner, it also no longer shows your engine health. I also play on a 4K resolution. So everything in that bottom right hand corner is just a little bit small. I'm not sure if it'll be bigger if you play on 1080p. Still like the gas bar, it's very tiny. All in all though, it's not bad at all. One thing I do really like though, is gonna be the casino. Poker, absolute banger. I'm not gonna go in there right now and play. We'll go back in there in a little bit, but either way, it is a very, very fun game. I've already managed to make millions of dollars playing poker. It is now truly the easiest way to make money in Grand RP, and I have a really strong feeling I could probably flip what I have right now into an easy 10 mil. We started off with 10,000 chips and made our way to just under 40,000 chips, and it took me about 30-ish minutes, maybe 40 minutes in total. That was an absolute banger. One thing I'm not a huge fan of about poker is the fact that it doesn't clearly tell you when it's your turn. So there's a lot of people who are just kind of sitting there confused about why nothing's happening, and it doesn't really say anywhere that it's your turn. You just kind of have to know and be watching. So, I mean, if you're really not the best at paying attention to things, it's probably not the greatest idea for you to play poker because even when I was playing, there was a lot of people that just sat there and we had to wait like a solid minute for them to fold because it would just automatically do it for them if they didn't choose to do anything. So a lot of the games just took a long time just because of that. But either way, poker is pretty sick. Now let's talk about the birthday event. This is one of the locations of a picture that you need to find. So let's go ahead and take out our camera here, take a picture, and let's upload it. Successfully published a photo. As you can see, if we go to bank, I've already completed every single photo, except for this one. And some of you guys did end up telling me where it was. And I cannot believe I didn't look there. It's very obvious. Uh, but yeah, we found every other picture. And once you've taken all the pictures, you can't take more pictures again. So really the only way you can get candy now is by just being in the city and getting your bonus candy every once in a while and finding all the letters to grand. Bit disappointing there, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to pretty much every event where you have to get some kind of currency to unlock some of those prizes, with this one for some reason you're just not able to sell resources to get candy, which is kind of crazy. So in total right now I have just over 600,000 candy and probably won't be able to even hit a million. If you guys know of another way to get candy or if you know how to reset the pictures or something like that, let me know because like I said, I, there's no way to do it. You have your notepad here where you can answer questions. Of course, we did it again and got them wrong. This, I still have no idea how to do this. I've seen some people selling the letters. I can't imagine they go for that much considering all you actually get is 20,000 candy from it. But uh, either way, I feel like this concept was cool, but it would have been even better if they allowed us to do it over and over again every day. Every time the server restarted, everything would reset. Maybe there's different picture locations or something like that. I honestly thought that would have been a lot better because I did have a lot of fun driving around the city, trying to find the locations of where I had to take pictures, but it definitely could have been better because now I've kind of just got nothing to do trying to figure out how I can get candy. And really the only thing I could do is buy grand coins and exchange that for candy or just Go back to pretending the birthday event's not even happening and just wait to get my bonus amounts of candy every single hour. So in terms of events, when it comes to getting the currency, which is candy, 
it's not the best. If we were able to trade resources, like I said, and exchange that for candy, or if we were able to find those pictures again and the gifts and everything like that, then I would say it'd be a pretty banging event. But just because of that, I feel like in terms of the events that we've had recently, this could possibly be one of the worst ones solely because getting candy is just not the best right now. Like, it's, it's just so hard to do. Like, do, do any of you guys have, like, millions and millions of candy? And if you did, be sure to comment down below how you got it. Maybe I'm just dumb. There probably is a way to get a lot more candy like you're able to in other events. So if you do know how to do that, be sure to let me and everybody else know down below in the comment section. Obviously, we got some new crates as well. Four new ones. The Huracan's cool. G-Wagon's cool. C-63 is cool. Not a huge fan of the BMW, but to some people, it looks really cool as well. Just gonna pick up all these family vehicles really quickly. Oh, yay, my Phantom. It would be cool if this lasted longer. This only lasts like a couple of seconds, right? Look, it's just a whole blackout everywhere. I love how my front lights go out, but my uh, tail lights don't for some reason. And now the city's back and lit up again. I remember the first time that happened to me, I was just standing in my garage. I'm like, why the hell did my garage just go pitch black? But when it comes down to it in the end, I'd have to say the update's pretty decent, mainly because of poker at the casino. I love playing poker in real life, even if it's just for fun with my family or something like that. And the fact that you're actually able to make a ton of money off of it is perfect. Like with other games, you can bet a maximum of like a thousand chips in like blackjack, or in roulette, and you're able to obviously make a little bit more depending on what kind of hand you get. But in poker, I believe if you wanted to, you could toss 10,000 chips down at a time, which is just insane. So I'd say that's probably one of the best things from this update, in my opinion. And I was very, very disappointed uh, the second the update came out and the poker tables were disabled. Lucky for us, within a day, they had them back up and working again. Like I said, though, I do feel like there's a lot of stuff that could definitely be improved in this update. And I'm hoping a little mini update comes out and fixes some of those issues. Like I said, the mini map being just a little bit too cluttered there. The music and the intro when you first join the city. Obviously, you're able to just turn the whole UI off and go back to the old one if you want to. But I kind of like the look of the new one. It's just, it's got to be improved here and there. And when it comes to the event that's happening, I definitely feel like that could have been a little bit better trading resources or just like i said allowing us to repeat this more often because once you're done doing this you're pretty much done so i mean trying to get like one of these cars is going to be nearly impossible all of these other things though i could definitely get i can grab a couple things here and there but the main prizes you're gonna need to pay a lot of grand coins for but when it comes down to it like i said updates not terrible would i say it's the best one that i've seen in a while in the city Definitely not. Is it better than last year's birthday events? For me personally, I'm going to say it's not because last year we had that birthday menu where every two hours you would get a free gift and you have a chance of winning a cool car, a cool clothing item or something like that. And I really, really loved doing that. It was so much fun. You'd increase your odds and pretty much every time you were guaranteed a car, if you increase the odds and it set the car in your favor, which happened honestly 50% of the time, but I was winning cars like 80% of the time. It was great. So I wish that came back. It was kind of sad when that didn't happen. I feel like the event could have been better. I feel like the whole update as a whole could have been a little bit better. Just little things here and there. The whole concept of everything that we got is honestly pretty great. It's just a couple little things. And if those little things were changed, it would have been pretty much perfect and possibly one of the best updates that we've gotten in Grand RP in a while. Let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comment section, what you do like and what you don't like about the updates. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.